Go. So are you welcome back to my channel? Thank you so much for stopping by. If it is your first time here, welcome. How are you? While you are here, you should totally subscribe to my channel. I love my sugar cubes. That is what I call my subscribers and we have a lot of fun over here. Speaking of subscribers, welcome back. How are you? Thank you everyone for stopping to watch this video. Happy Valentine's Day everyone. How are you doing? This is a very special video because it is my first collaboration video here on YouTube and I am collaborating with none other than the attitude her name on YouTube is QB and we decided to do a Valentine's Day makeup look collaboration she is doing what girls like where I am doing what guys like and I, I mean I imagine this is what guys like so what I've done here is a very natural ish beat I kept the face fairly natural looking not too harsh of a contour not too much highlighter I kept it very pink themed just with a wash of color over the eyes and a neutral pinkish lip I do think that this look is fairly natural natural for me anyway so if you would like to see how I achieved this natural ish what guys like Valentine's Day makeup then stay tuned but before that I need you guys to like this video subscribe after you finish watching my video definitely head over to the attitude channel and check out her video give her some love comment down below in her videos and say that you came for mine while you're there subscribe so yes if you want to see how I achieved this what guys like Valentine's Day makeup look then stay tuned Hey guys, so starting off with my eyebrows already done, I'm going to hop straight into face. I'm going to prime my face with my Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control Primer as usual in conjunction with my Ruby Kisses No More Pores Primer. So I've come to the conclusion that what guys like is kind of like a no makeup makeup look. I asked a couple of guys I work with and <laughs> their answers were so funny. One guy said not too reflective. One guy said uh -huh, red lips but not too red. So I was like pink and they were like no just red but not too red. So after a whole bunch of answers that doesn't that didn't really make sense. <laughs> I come to the conclusion that guys like a natural face. Most guys like it when girls don't look too different with makeup. So now that I have done that, I'm going to go in with my Silk Naturals HD Peach Corrector in 60 just to cover up any dark spots. To blend that out, I'm going to be taking my Baby Real Technique sponge, which is damp. But we got to tone that down, you know? We got to tone that down. You don't want to you, you don't want to scare anyone if you're on a date, you know what I mean? You won't you don't want to look so perfect and then later on in life you're like meant to be together and then they see you without makeup and you're like a totally different person. I like to set my primer as well as my corrector and I'm going to be using the Ruby Kisses HD Finishing Powder in Invisible. This is just a translucent powder and I'm going to use that same Baby Real Technique sponge to set. I like to smile a lot so I'm going to set in my smile lines. Like so. I'm going to dust off any excess powder away. Notice I didn't set underneath my eyes because we're going to apply more product there. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation, which looks like this. I use the color 310. And my face is a lot darker than the rest of my body, if you guys can see that. So I like to apply a good amount of this foundation <laughs> in all honesty if you guys are frequent here on my channel 
you guys know I like foundation. I am not shy and I like to apply my foundation with a brush first and then I'll go in with my beauty sponge to blend it out. Please don't forget your neck. There is nothing so more unattractive than a girl who has makeup on and this is unattractive for guys and you know friends don't let your friends go out like this don't let your friends have the mask okay and it's not cute where you can see where a girl's foundation stops so I uh, with this foundation because it dries down pretty quickly I'm going to do one half of my face first The reason I chose this foundation is because it really looks like skin. Rihanna did a very, very good job with this foundation because it's matte, so it's oily girl friendly, which I am. I have very oily skin, but it looks like skin. It doesn't look like foundation. It looks like skin. Do you see that? It looks like freaking skin. Now we have foundation on. Please, I don't I don't show this in all my videos, but please, you know, wipe off the foundation off your hand. That that's not cute. There have been plenty of times I've walked out the house with foundation spot, hand syndrome, and that I mean, just you no. Know. To highlight and contour, I've been really loving these Wet n Wild Mega Glow sticks. The highlight stick is in Your Natural, and the contour stick is in call me maple so i'm going to go in with the contour stick first run that all on my forehead and on the sides of my temples and this product i really like or these products right rather because the finish is beautiful the finish looks exactly like skin And I'm not concerned with this spot or spots showing because, like I said, we want to make our skin look pretty, as perfect as possible, but we still want it to look like skin. So I don't mind any little imperfections showing. I'm going to take the highlighting stick, draw it right in the center of my forehead, and blend it out. And when it comes down to my nose, I'll take that same color and kind of start the color like right underneath my eyebrow and draw it down. And put a little shadow at the bottom. I don't want to change the shape of my nose per se. I just want to give it some definition. Take a little bit of the highlight and go down the center. Like that. Because I still feel like I have a little bit of bags, I need a little bit more coverage under the eye. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Photo Focus concealer in medium tawny and apply that there. Our skin still looks like skin. I'm taking the Ruby Kisses HD setting powder in banana. I'm going to press that in all the areas that 
we highlight it. So under the eye, nose, forehead, above the mouth, chin, and those areas. Pressing that into my skin. Like so. Now to bake, I'm gonna go back in with the original translucent powder in Invisible and set all the other areas of my face. While I am baking, I am going to go in and apply some falsies, very, very natural falsies. These are my favorite. These are by Kiss and it is their ever, ever easy eyelash in the style 02. They're very natural, so I'm going to apply these. Okay, eyelashes are on, and as you can see, I've dusted away the bake. I'm going to go in with my face powder, which is the Ruby Kisses No More Blemish Powder in the color Golden. I don't use this for the No More Blemish properties. I just use it for the color, actually. I think it's very similar to my skin tone. So, that's why I use it, like that, under my eye so I don't have any flashback. And you might be thinking this is a lot of powder. It is. <laughs> I have very oily skin so I don't want my face to be oily. If I'm going on a date, I don't want my skin to look like chicken grease and heaven forbid, I mean no one wants to hug anybody and see their face on that person's shirt. So. I feel like the more I powder my face, the less oily it will get. So I'm going to go in and bronze now. I'm going to use my Black Radiance, what's this? My Black Radiance Press Powder in Bronze Glow. And I'm going to use this to warm up my face and bring back some dimension. I actually don't mind that that showing. It's, it's cute to me. I was gonna skip blush, but I don't know. I think a little blush is not bad. So I'm going to go in with the City Color B Matte Blush, and it's in the color Papaya. Use that just to rosy up my cheeks. One thing I am not going to forfeit at all is glow. So I'm going to go in with a couple of these Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighters. Um, the first one I'm going to actually put on top of the blush is called Crown of My Canopy Blush Topper. Like that. Then I'm going to go in with Botanical Dream, which is a pretty pink. Yeah, it's a true baby doll pink. But I want a little bit more glow, a little bit more glow. So I'm going to go in with the one called Blossom Glow. Pale, pale pink. Okay, so I have you guys zoomed in. I'm actually not going to do too much, if anything, on the eyes. One thing that everyone did have in common, whether, you know, they said it eloquently <laughs> or not, was they didn't really like eyeshadow. So I'm going to take that B Matte Blush from City Color and pop that into my crease. To make it marry into the rest of my face, I'm going to take that Black Radiance Bronze Glow. This is my this is what I use for my bronzer, and I'm going to put that in the crease also. I might just go in with this Wet n Wild Botanical Dream just on my lid as an eyeshadow. I'm going to first go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Telescopic Mascara 
no, this is not a telescopic. The L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara, and it's just like the real OG mascara at the drugstore. Like, I've been trying to find a cruelty free dupe for this, and I can't. And we are just going to pack, and I mean pack on the mascara. Now I'm going to go in with bottom lash mascara and I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara. This was sent to me a minute ago via Influencer, so I'm just going to pop this on my lower lash line. Like so. Just a little bit. I don't want to put too much. And for inner corner, I am also going to go in with that Blossom Glow Wet n Wild highlighter and just highlight the inner corner. I like how that looks. This is pretty. lips, I don't want to do anything too crazy because I do feel like despite how much I wanted the eye look to remain soft, I do see quite enough pigment on the eye. So I wanted to go in with these NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. One is in the color Stockholm and one is in the color Milan. And I am just going to mix them. I'm just going to give that a thicker blend. This is the finished look, you guys. I absolutely love how it came out. It's a very simple, natural looking <laughs> type of makeup. The skin still looks like skin. Like I said, you still see my imperfections with which I am okay with. I have a little hints of pink and I, I think this is what guys would like. I imagine guys would like a very natural-ish looking beat and you know there's a difference between natural and neutral so this is natural-ish with hints of pink. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you also Be Attitude for collaborating with me on this video. Thank you so much. I hope everyone has a happy Valentine's Day, whether you are at home or whether you are out with loved ones. It doesn't have to be a significant other. Just have a great Valentine's Day. Don't let the world and don't let society and don't let people make you feel bad if you are spending your Valentine's Day home, single and happy. On the flip side, you do not need one day a year to express how much you love someone, whether it's your significant other or really good friends or family. So I hope everyone has a great Valentine's Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out Beatitude's video. I will definitely link it in the description bar down below. So please go over there, check out her video, say you came from my video, show love. I want my sugar cubes to show love because I have the best subscribers ever and I'll see you in my next video. Everybody, stay blessed.